In this episode check out our girl of love. Rihanna's dazzling eyes, body and energy. Enjoy! International pop star Rihanna, released her first album in 2005, and is known for such number one hits as Umbrella, SOS, Take a Bow, Only Girl, In the World We Found Love and Diamonds. Born Robin Rihanna Fanny, on February 20, 1988, in Barbados, Rihanna signed with DF Jam Records, at age 16 and in 2005 released her first album Music of the Sun, which sold more than 2 million copies worldwide. She went on to release more albums, and an array of hit songs, including Unfaithful, Umbrella, Disturbia, Take a Bow, Diamonds and We Found Love. A global pop star, with an unrelentingly edgy image, Rihanna has also won multiple industry accolades, including Grammys and MTV Awards. Singer Robin Rihanna Fanny, was born on February 20, 1988, in St. Michael Parish on the Caribbean island of Barbados. She is the eldest of three children, born to Monica Fandy, an accountant, and Ronald Fandy, a warehouse supervisor. Rihanna's childhood is marred by her father's struggles with addictions to alcohol and crack cocaine, and her parents' marital problems. They divorced when she was 14 years old. Rihanna also struggled with crippling headaches for several years during her childhood, a condition she attempted to hide from her friends and classmates so that they would not think she was abnormal. I never expressed how I felt, she remembered. I always kept it in. I would go to school, you would never know, there was something wrong with me. As a teenager, Rihanna turned to singing, as a release from her troubles at home. She formed a girl group, with two classmates. When they were 15 years old, they scored an audition, with music producer Evan Rogers, who was visiting the island, with his Barbadian wife. Rogers was awed by the precociously beautiful and talented Rihanna, to the unfortunate detriment of her two friends. The minute Rihanna walked into the room, it was like the other two girls didn't exist, he admitted. Less than a year later, when Rihanna was only 16 years old, she left Barbados to move in with Rogers and his wife in Connecticut and work on recording a demo album. When I left Barbados, I didn't look back, Rihanna recalled. I wanted to do what I had to do, even if it meant moving to America. In January 2005, Rogers landed Rihanna an audition for DDF Jam Records, and its newly minted president, the legendary rapper Jay-Z. I was in the lobby just shaking, she recalled. However, once Rihanna opened her voice to sin, she regained her composure. I remember staring into everybody's eyes, in the room while I was singing, and at that point, I was fearless, she said. But the minute I stopped singing, I was like, oh my god. Jay-Z is sitting right in front of me the hip-hop icon was every bit as wowed by Rihanna's commanding presence as Rogers had been two years earlier and he signed her on the spot. Only eight months later, in August 2005, she released her first single, Pondy Replay, a reggae-influenced club trap that reached number two on the Billboard singles chart and announced Rihanna as the next up-and-coming pop star. Her first album, Music of the Sun, released later that month, reached number 10 on the Billboard Albums chart and also featured the single, If It's Lovin' That You Want. Rihanna released her second album, A Girl Like Me, the next year, spawning two major hits in Unfaithful and S.O.S., Rihanna's first number one single. In 2007, Rihanna effected a transformation from cute teen pop princess to superstar and sex symbol with her third album, Good Girl Gone Bad, fueled by its smash hit lead single Umbrella, featuring Jay-Z. It shows such growth for her as an artist, Jay-Z said about the track. If you listen to the lyrics to that song, you know the depth and how far she's come. Umbrella topped the Billboard singles chart and earned Rihanna her first Grammy Award for Best Rapper Song Collaboration. The album reached number two on the charts and also featured the singles, Shut Up and Drive and Don't Stop the Music, with the latter featuring a sample of Michael Jackson's Wanna Be Startin' Something. Good Girl Gone Bad. Reloaded, released the following year, scored further hits in Disturbia, Take a Bow and Hate That I Love You. Continuing her onslaught of hit albums, Rihanna released Rated R in 2009, with the singles Hard and Rude Boy. Her 2010 album, Loud, was once again a commercial success behind the songs What's My Name, Only Girl, In the World, and s &M. Besides our own laundry list of hit songs, Rihanna is also featured on a host of popular songs by other artists, including Jay-Z's Run This Town, Eminem's Love the Way to Lie, Maroon 5's If I Never See Your Face Again and Kanye West's All of the Lights. In 2011, Rihanna released her sixth studio album, 
Talk That Talk. The album included, We Found Love, a track with DJ Calvin Harris, that won the 2013 Grammy Award, for Best Short Form Music Video. Rihanna has also made headlines in her personal life, although often for circumstances beyond her control. She first made gossip column headlines in 2006, when rumors swirled that she was having an affair with her men or, Jay-Z. Both she and Jay-Z have always dismissed such allegations as ridiculous. At first I was like, hectares hectares, it's funny, Rihanna said. Now I just ignore it and I'm numb to it. You cannot stop people from saying what they want to say. In 2009, Rihanna again made headlines again, becoming the center of a media firestorm after a domestic violence incident in which her then-boyfriend Chris Brown assaulted her before an awards show. The incident sparked a huge public outpouring of support for Rihanna, and she became a spokesperson against domestic violence. This happened to me, she said in an interview at Diane Sawyer. It can happen to anyone. Rihanna was later romantically involved with Los Angeles Dodgers outfielder Matt Kemp, but the pair have since split ways. Since she first appeared on the scene in 2005, this Barbadian pop star has enjoyed a nearly uninterrupted run at the top of the music industry. For years, it has been virtually impossible to listen to the radio or enter a dance club without hearing one of Rihanna's catchy songs. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, share and subscribe to our channel.